Hi there, if you're one of the people considering buying the Behringer CMD Studio 4A DJ controller uh, and you wanna know whether it's any good for scratching on, then you're in the right place. We're gonna give you all the answers you need in this video. Uh, it's a long awaited controller from Behringer, this one, and it's got a really interesting price tag, $200. It's a fantastic price point for a, for a controller and it's a really good quality controller. And for scratching, I've got some good news and some bad news. Uh, the good news is the jog wheels are big, they're six inch jog wheels, really nice travel, good feel to them and good sensitivity when you, when you touch the metal part on the top. The bad news is that the actual response for scratching with the supplied software, the Decadance software, I found to be pretty bad. It was, once you started to try and do faster moves and incorporate the fader, it just, it just had no uh, connectivity at all. It didn't feel like it was happening at the same time as your hand movements and the sound wasn't great. And unfortunately the same is uh, the case for the tractor mapping. I set this controller up with the tractor mapping and for scratching uh, it just wasn't responsive enough for me. But by far and away the best uh, software for scratching with this controller is Virtual DJ and uh, we're going to have a look at the Virtual DJ software in just a second. The only thing you need to concern yourself with on the hardware to make sure that it's set up for scratching is the scratch button here which when it's blue that means it's uh, in scratch mode and that means that when you grab the jog wheel you'll be grabbing your sound for scratching. Um, everything else is in the software so let's dive straight into the software as I said we're going to look at Virtual DJ um, and we'll show you what the optimum settings are for scratching in the software on this controller. Let's dive straight in. So in Virtual DJ in the config page, you want to go to options. Your crossfader here needs to be set to scratch. Your jog mode here needs to be set to vinyl. And the jog sensitivity I found to be best at about 50%. Now the jog sensitivity for Q and for bend, I've got those both at around 66%. The disc I've got at 33 RPM, that's what worked best for me. The only other thing you need to look at is the performances. And with this controller in Virtual DJ, I found that I couldn't have the latency super low, but 256 uh, was, uh, was working pretty well and optimized for quality. And here in Master Tempo, make sure that you have this set to pure scratch. So that's all you need in the software to get you set up for scratching. So let's have a listen to a quick demo scratching on this controller using Virtual DJ. There you go, everything you need to know to get your Behringer CMD Studio 4A controller optimized for scratching with Virtual DJ. Now if you want to learn to scratch on this controller or any controller for that matter, then there's a link below this video to sign up for our mailing list to get free scratch training videos uh, and also to sign up for the Scratching for Controller DJs mailing list uh, where we teach people how to scratch with DJ controllers from the very basics. So if you're interested in getting some free training, sign up below. See you soon for another video.